Hello all. I have a question for you. What do all the living things around us do? What is it that we all do every moment? Can you tell? We all breathe continuously, right? There is air around us. We breathe the air in and out. If there was no air, how would we breathe? Air is necessary for life. Air has no color, no smell. All the living things like plants, animals and humans breathe with air. They inhale the O2, the oxygen and exhale the CO2, the carbon dioxide. The process of breathing in and breathing out is called respiration. Where does the air come from? The invisible air occupies every available space around us. The outer space surrounding our earth, that is atmosphere, is occupied by the air, a mixture of different gases. The different gases are the nitrogen, the oxygen, the carbon dioxide, the argon and small other gases like the sulfur dioxide, the water vapor, the dust particles and others are mixed in the air. The gravitational force ensures that all these gases remain within the space surrounding above the earth. Life on earth is possible because of delicate balance between different components of air. The gases in the air have to be harmoniously balanced. That helps the sufficient light to reach the earth's surface and saves the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. which are prevented by the air surrounded above the earth. This helps all the living things on earth to live. Out of this mixture of different gases present in the air, the most important are nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. They are represented as N, O2 and CO2 respectively. Within the mixture of gases in the air, the N, nitrogen, makes up 78% of the air. The nitrogen is colorless, tasteless and has no smell. Nitrogen is existent in all of living things in us, in plants, in foods. For example, in fertilizers like ammonia, nitric acid, the N, nitrogen, is present.
you cannot extract nitrogen directly from the air. But through the method of nitrogen fixation, you can extract nitrogen from the air. The oxygen makes up 21% of the air. It is also colorless, tasteless and doesn't have any smell. The oxygen can be mixed up in water. It also helps the fire to keep burning. Other gases can combine to form the oxides. As we know, the oxygen is useful for breathing and also to keep fire burning. The air contains only 0.03% of carbon dioxide, CO2. The CO2 is also colorless. It does not smell. The CO2 is slightly heavier than other gases. Its presence in the water is negligible. Plants absorb the CO2 from the air as it is the energy for their growth or the CO2 is used in making dry ice. The dry ice is used in cold storage to preserve food for longer duration. The CO2 is used in making fire extinguishers. The CO2 is also used in making aerated cold drinks. We have learned about the air. Do we know how much the gases in the air weigh? The air can be compressed or expanded. The air does have its mass, which means it can have its weight. The air surrounded in the space above the earth has its pressure on the earth. The pressure of the air on the earth is known as atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. This atmospheric pressure or AP in short varies at various levels. On the ground level it is felt very less. The AP is felt more and more in the higher planes above the ground. When we stand on the ground, the AP and the pressure from within our body is balanced. Hence, we do not feel any pressure. But, as we go higher, trekking in the mountains, the AP is low in comparison with the pressure from within our body. On the sea level, the AP is measured at one atmosphere. When we fly, we feel the pain or irritation in the ears because the AP is low as compared to the pressure from within our body. This pressure imbalance makes our ears feel the pain. You know, there is no air in the outer vast dark space. So, there is no AP. 
when the astronauts travel into space in the rocket they have to use special costumes to create pressure balance between outer pressure and the pressure from within our body we use a tool known as barometer to calculate the ap barometer now we ask how does the wind happen why does the wind blow at the sea shores giving us cool breeze during summer the land gets heated up quickly as compared to the water in the sea the air occupying the land gets hot due to increased temperatures it becomes lighter and goes up creating low pressure in the area the cold air in the outer area is heavier hence there is a high pressure the air from high pressure areas always move towards low pressure areas this movement creates wind that is why it is more cooler due to the wind nearby the seashore areas during the summer now we will see how the air pressure has different uses in our daily lives we use straw to suck up water or cold drink from the bottle hmm when we suck up low pressure is created within the area inside the straw the ap at the sea level is higher hence it is possible to suck up water from the underground likewise during the festival of holi we use pumps to splash colored water when we pull the handle out to remove the air from the pump low pressure is created inside the pump the area of the water where the pump is dipped in has higher pressure thus the water moves in towards low pressure area inside the pump when we push the pump handle towards inside the high pressure is created water inside the pump is thrown out through the small hole on the other end of the pump Do you know that we use suction hook to hang our clothes or anything? When you hard press to place the suction hook on the wall, the air in the inner area of the suction cup is thrown out creating low pressure. The outer area of the suction hook has higher air pressure it causes the hook to be attached against the wall tightly and is strong enough to hold little heavier items it does not fall but why is the air so important do you know about the global warming that causes a big worry to all of us global warming Why is this worrisome? It is because of the imbalance in the composition of different gases in the air. If CO2 gets higher than required, it can cause concerns. So, 
it is very important to take care of our air. We have now learned about the air, its composition by different gases. We have learned the importance of N, O2 and CO2 and their salient features. Now you understood the concept of the air. Thank you.